All right, hello and good evening, everyone. We are back in Spare Room Studio tonight to bring you a special presentation tonight. We have the Shaman of the Yin Oasis coming to you live here. We're getting uh, Emperor Rise of the Middle Kingdom going. We'll switch over to the game in just a moment. Uh, but first, I wanted to say thank you to all the folks on the uh, uh, Facebook uh, page from Emperor Rise of the Middle Kingdom. Definitely appreciate you guys coming out and uh, watching the stream tonight. We're going to have some fun with some brand new content that was just made a little over a week ago uh, by Tim, who's one of the admins on the Emperor Facebook page. He's kind of put this together and uh, allowed me to showcase it here on the stream tonight. So we're going to have some fun tonight uh, playing through the campaign a little bit, give you a sneak peek at it, and uh, let's get started. Let me bring up the game just in case. You might see some flashing on your screen, don't worry, totally normal. It's going to flash on my end for sure. Alright, there we go. So, I'm going to play a single player campaign here. Now, for those of you who want to play at home, you can go ahead and download this from the Heaven Emperor uh, page. We'll have a link to that in the description in the video below. Uh, but really, once you get it all installed on your PC, just go to Custom Campaigns, and you'll have it right here, the Shaman of Yin Oasis. So, before we get into the campaign, let's go ahead and read the description here. I apologize, my pronunciation of Chinese names is going to be absolutely terrible. Uh, so I might just uh, skip over some of them. <laughs> anyway, here we go. The Shaman of the Yin Oasis. Before his death in the mid-9th century CE, Emperor Tang Wuzong carried out a terrible persecution of Buddhism throughout the Middle Kingdom. One travesty of this was the destruction of the Buddhist monastery at Yin. Our new emperor, Tang... This is where my pronunciation is bad. Zhuang... Wang Zong? I'm gonna go with that. Has ended the persecution and chosen to build a new city at Yin. The oasis there will provide sustenance in the harsh desert, but you must tread carefully to share it with the powerful and feared shaman who dwells there. Alright, so, we've got a potentially angry shaman living in a burned-out temple, so, let's see if we can uh, meet the neighbors. Let's see what we have to do here. 1,500 people in an elegant dwelling are better. 40 people in a lavish sinew are better. Treasury of 5,000. Splendid temple must be built. Four trading partners. All right, sounds good. And we've got some more text here to read to give us a little bit more behind-the-scenes action here. So when the Yin Monastery was destroyed, its leader, Yin Jing, escaped. He hid at the shrine atop the pinnacle. He's lived there ever since, alone in anger and bitterness. Years passed, and he grew into a mighty shaman. He placed long-standing curses on the land, which drove away all who came to Yin. From atop his pinnacle, he watched everything. Aided by a pet vulture. Oh, he's got a pet. That's awesome. Uh, again, the emperor has struck a bargain with him. Ying Jian will allow a city to be built at Yin, but only under conditions. The old temples must be rebuilt. The temple menagerie must be restored. No soldiers will be allowed. Also, Yin Jung's privacy must be kept. Bridges, ferries, and fishing quays are prohibited. All right, so we're not getting fish. When you arrive in Yin, a vulture flies overhead and drops a parchment. It reads, I am Yin Jian. My curses are upon this land, but I will work to remove them. For now know that the year of the snake brings a drought, the year of the ram brings a flood, and the year of the ox brings an earthquake. That's going to be very important. Um, one of the uh, hints that was dropped when uh, Tim had released this on the Facebook page was, know your zodiac because this stuff is going to happen. So we need to uh, keep track of that. So snake, ram, and ox, all very bad things, so we got to watch out for that. Now, there are some folks who can uh, definitely play this uh, on a higher difficulty level than myself. I am going to stick to normal. Uh, that's usually about the speed that, uh, that I can hold on. So, let's give it a go here. To the city. Alright, let's see what we've got. We're starting off in the year of the rabbit, so no bad things are coming quite yet. Alright. Got some ruins. Got to build that splendid temple, which is quite large. I wonder. That kind of fits nicely in there. There's a stone quarry there. Some ruins over here. Alright, so we're going to have to be a little bit careful about how we plan this, because you can't build fishing quays, and there is a very, very limited amount of grass on this map. So we're going to have to be very, very careful about how we plan wells and, uh, 
any farmland. We need four trading partners, so we're gonna have to make friends with these guys. And no military, so we're not fighting anybody today. All right, I am gonna, usually I like to try to segment my map a little bit so that I can uh, try to keep the housing separate. We're gonna see if we can do that. First of all, we're gonna need to clear up some of these roads because this is gonna bug me all night. this stuff here. Got to at least have access to a road so that we can get our housing settlements built. There we are. Okay. I'm going to try building... Let's see. I'm going to try building the houses right over in here. At least we have some grass. I should be able to build a well. Yeah, that'll work. I mean, my feng shui isn't going to be exactly very harmonious, but, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll make do with the best we got here. We've got an angry shaman who's got a pet, cool pet vulture. So let's, uh, let's try not to piss him off. Right, clean up some of this rubble. Now, the other nice thing about this is this map, or this uh, campaign, is not timed, which I enjoy because I like to take my time when it comes to uh, making the campaign. Now, here's the other thing. So, that's where the shaman is up there. We can't build any bridges to meet him, and we can't build any ferries. And he's got his pet vulture flying around. I'll have to watch out for him. All right. Actually, I'm not sure I want to go here. Kind of restrictive. Ooh. Oh, you can't build bridges. Shoot. Now, this is going to be a bit more challenging. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is clever. Oh, please tell me there's a ramp over here. Aha, there is. Whew. It's like, you're not going to let me build a bridge, I at least need a ramp. Ah, don't do that. That was poor road planning. Alright, there we go. Alright, so no bridges. This is definitely going to be challenging there. Alright. And we don't have to worry about fishing quays, so I don't care about my coastline as much. I can't use those. Alright, let's start putting some houses in. I'll go start right over here. Alright, first thing we need to do is we need to get wells up and running. Yep, I know. We're gonna get people, don't worry. like to try to get all of my infrastructure built first. Alright. Now we've got that, let's start putting some houses in. off right here, where we don't have any walkers wandering about. All right. Wait for people to show up. A little urban planning here. There's that vulture now. I 
know what I do need? I need an Ancestral Shrine. Definitely need one of those. Alright. Workers are streaming in from the bottom. I guess I do need to fix that. Road a bit. And they really made a mess of this former temple complex here. There's even trees growing in the middle of the road. Alright, there we go. At least we have a path. Although the settlers are going to go their own way, because they're good. Oh yeah, there's two more missions. Yep, there are ramps. That's definitely helpful. It took me a little bit to find that, but... Without building bridges, that makes a, uh, a nice little challenge. And then, yeah, there's two more. <laughs> I gotta try to survive that long. Alright. We're getting our settlers moving on in. Well, alright. I guess that's a semi vote of confidence. Alright. So we've got settlers moving in, we got room for 109 people. We've got some unemployment going. Alrighty. Food levels are too low. Yep, we gotta start building some of that. Alright, so, we've met our treasury goal. Got to build that temple, the partner, and we need... Okay, so we do need to make some nice homes. Which, if I remember correctly, those fancy homes need to be built on grass, because they assume, are assumed to have a well inside of them. That's why they don't require well access. I could think of worse place to live in this city. <laughs> could think of the worst place to live in this city. Alright, well... People aren't thrilled, but they're not exactly angry with me yet. Let's see. First thing we could do is maybe get some hunting going, which looks like we have some of the antelope over here we can go after. Problem is, I need a system of roads to get out there, because right now, this is a problem. for a bridge. Man, the shaman really does not like bridges. Okay. Ah, here we go. Oh, hang on. There we go. Ugh, if I could rotate properly. Alright, so looks like we need to go up and over. Way we can get that. Right. And then I just need to make sure that this is actually connected via roads. Uh oh. Another one of these things. First challenge of this, making sure that roads work. That's where is there a down ramp crosses this river? Uh, over here. That will link us to this. Ah, if I could draw a straight road, that would be nice. Alright, that gets us connected there. I'm going to come back and edit this later, but at least it gives me a somewhat of a connection. Okay. Clear out some of the trees and brush. And all of this for a sage antelope. It seems like a lot of work.
try to use as much of the existing infrastructure as possible so I don't waste money. I can always fix it later. The hunters are going to love this walk, though. It's going to be great. Alright. Let's see. Oh, we need one bit of road there. Alright. Now, I think... That gets me a road over to here, which I can come around to here. Now I'm back to this spot. Perfect. Road complete. Make sure that that actually connects. Piers too. Shaman was not really a fan of public works projects involving ferries. <laughs> That's going to take a while, and we need to start producing food before we start getting people angry. Let's take a look here. Cabbage, millet, and hemp. All right. Oops, didn't want to do that. Cabbage patch going. And we'll get one millet. And... Oh, maybe we can build a road out that way. I'm going to do this. Try to build my agriculture down there, so I am going to build a mill over here. But first, before I forget, get that inspector tower going. Otherwise, we're going to have damage. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's not there yet. Not there yet. All right. We need a mill. Inspector bo boxed in there. We'll go build a food shop. Now we have no more houses. We can fix that. Sneak another one in there. Perfect. Some of that rubble might make the place a little bit nicer. All right. We need bland food. Ah, fulfill the goals and he may remove his prohibitions. Ah, okay. That is good to know. So perhaps as we go through and we finish some of these goals, maybe he'll be nice enough and let us build a ferry. Right now, our treasury is up there, but we need to build a couple of these other pieces. So, it seems fair. I see that vulture watching me. <laughs> there he is. I just love that detail. Like, there's one vulture on the map that's, like, just roaming around. That's awesome. Alright, we've got some millet. Awesome. Which means we've got a food buyer. Still need some more workers, so build another row of houses. Continue to expand a little bit. Oh, 
Yep, I was worried about that. Jeez, we have a whole bunch of huts. We catch fire. <laughs> Who would have thought? Come on, Inspector. There's a there's a giant fire right there. There we go. All right, medicine. Not great. Let's see if we can fix that later. Got to keep these people somewhat healthy. There's a well right there, never mind. We're good. Let's put the shrine over here. Watch out for that flood, though, coming up, because, uh... Oh, the drought? I think the drought was the snake. going. That should irrigate that side. Perfect. Vulture spawn point is at the bottom of the pinnacle, which makes it sense since it's his pet. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, definitely. I like you say, he kind of like hangs out around that pinnacle and then just kind of hangs... Oh, jeez. Well. We're having problems with fire. Can you believe it? The well is caught on fire. Yeah. This isn't exactly the city structure that I wanted to build, but because we have that kind of inhibitor there with the uh, having to build wells, we're kind of stuck by it. All right. Just going around like, geez, these people can't keep anything down. I'm going to leave that blank there because eventually we're going to need a tax office. All right, we have some unemployment, which is good. We've got some potential growth. All right, let's check those goals again. 1,500 people in Elegant Dwelling, Splendid Temple. Well, we should probably work on that temple a little bit. However, in order to get that temple, my guess is we're going to need rock, which you can only find on the center island, so we can't finish the temple first. That much we know. Yep, there it is, the drought. One of the things we do want to make sure that we get is clay pits. Put the kiln anywhere.
probably need to think about that hemp farm, too. Alright. That is where the footprint of the Splendid Temple was before it was destroyed. Look at the bottom right of the map. Aha! That makes sense. So we've got to build our temple complex down here. Perfect. Wood and carpenters. Well, we can get started on some of that. Lumber is going to be a little hard to come by, but we'll figure it out. Logging shed there. What are we doing here? Make sure that none of my industry is collapsing. there for good measure. I right, need plain food. So that goes back to we only create two types of food. <clears throat> oh, we could get salt, too. We do have salt mines. Let's see if we can get a road linked up back there. salt mine going. Alright, we don't even have to worry about bridges on this one. Let's see. And either way gets to the salt mine, so we'll take this path. Perfect. that stuff up there. Alright. Now, it's not going to generate a lot of salt, and it's going to take a long time to get to that mill. Really need to work on getting everybody up to speed. Oh, look, all right, we're flush with food right now. Perfect. I wonder, how far away are those antelope? They're over there. Probably build a road out that way. Antelope. No festival this year. Yeah. All right. Working on getting antelope. Oh, that's true. They're also antelope down here. Let's see. Oh yeah, there's a couple of them down here too. Let's see if I finish up the temple complex here. Might be able to actually get around there. We've got two spots for antelope, which is good. This spot is actually a bit closer than uh, where the salt mines are. We just need to make sure that we've got a road going to it. Perfect. That should be connected now. Where did those antelope go? Oh, they're down there. 
And there's a path down there so we can put some antelope in. This will also be nice for uh, labor camps. I don't want to cut down too many trees. Let's do this. And I definitely don't want to overhunt them. The hunting tents don't need inspector towers. I did not know that. I'm just so used to putting them everywhere I go. Um, I am planning on putting some logging sheds down here, though, because there is a decent amount of wood nearby. I actually want you to get plain food. Let's make sure our citizens are doing okay, health-wise. Everybody okay? Acupuncturist has been by. Alright. Not perfect, but getting better. Ancestral coverage? Yeah, it could be better. You know what I think I do if I complete the loop here? That may actually help a bit. We will allow a little bit more flow going. That's true. Raise, uh, raising wages or lowering taxes would help. Which right now I'm... I'm okay. 49 workers needed isn't the end of the world. Not where I want to be, but we only have housing space for 54 more people. And one of the... Ooh, we need more space for cabbage. I do want to start collecting taxes because at least that will help kind of staunch the bleeding in terms of how much money I'm losing. One, two, three. Get some hemp going. That gets irrigated. Should we get a road out to that? Move the roadblock. All right. All right, we've got stacks of lumber. Perfect. Build a mint. Oh, that is a good idea. Um, what age are we in, though? Is it a mint, or... Oh, wait a minute. Administrative city, tax office, and... Oh, well, I need to build the administrative city first. Uh, where do I want to set up my administration? Uh, I guess this is a place as good as, other, as any for all the bureaucrats. Alright, the problem is I'm going to have to build that mint somewhere close to copper ore deposits. Ah! How convenient! Let's just make sure that we actually have a road that goes up there. City. We'll fix that. Got that taken care of. We can also start putting out tax offices. Because, I mean, you all know it's better to give than to receive. Uh, especially to me. I mean, to your government. <laughs> I love that line. Like, it's better to give than to receive, especially to me. I mean, your government. Alright. Definitely need more people, and we don't have enough housing for them. So, let's 
keep building. ceramic shop. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn these off because we don't need tax officers. Do need that mint to work though. Perfect. And we've got game meat coming in. We're flush with food. Awesome. Once we start building up an inventory of goods, we can start uh, offering them as gifts for trade. Oops. No festival. Oh yeah, entertainers. Forgot about that. to give you guys a notice of eviction, but I need to build a well over here. Need that well to be as far in as possible. That way I can try to stretch out just a little bit farther. Exactly appealing to live next to a city ruin. Gotta wait until next season is in April. We got a little bit of salt going. Alright, not doing too bad so far. Hmm. Ancestors aren't great. This is the year of the ram. Oh boy. Yeah. This isn't gonna be good. <laughs> I know what that means. We already had the drought. It's either the flood or the earthquake. I can't remember off the top of my head. <laughs> And, uh, we're all next to water. Actually, you know what I could do? Oh, he, <laughs> oh, he won't let me build military walls. I was going to try to build walls over there and try to block in the flood, but... Yeah, it's not going to happen, is it? No walls yet. Nope. Got to progress farther. Once I get some more workers, then I can start activating the monument progress. Actually, let's see. Can I get a construction guild? Now eh, we put one in there. I can kind of start working on it, but I don't want to... Uh, monuments, I'm going to put at low priority. Once we get more workers, then that'll populate. But right now... Monuments are not the great Oh, the greatest ruler in history. Wow. That's overdoing it a bit, but... Alright, surplus of food. I'm making some income. Can I have more than one mint? I don't think you can. Unless there's a custom rule in this. Yep, only one mint. <laughs> you may get lucky with one. Oh boy. <laughs> oh great. <laughs> Five intensity. Is that going to hit my... Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, so it can't hit my mill, which is good. It's going to wipe out a lot of my housing. Well, we'll just have to wait and see. 
Oh yeah, we should uh, pay homage here. Uh, what can we give away? How about some wood? Uh, now they're just neglected. <laughs> yeah, the flood. It's coming. That's what I'm worried about. Alright. We need 70. We have uh, space for 49. Gotta pretty the place up a little bit. In some gardens. There's one grass tile there that I really want to keep for a well. I don't want to knock out any more houses. I say we're not going to be able to stretch too much farther anyway. Workers. Ah, there's some more salt coming in. We're getting paper going, which is good. Hemp cloth coming in. We need more hemp cloth. Sorry, loggers. I don't want to wreck all your forests, but... Oh, here it is. I did not get lucky. Good to know. Well, that's the first flood. Plain cottage, tax office, and shrine. Well, Inspector's Tower. Alright, a little bit of rebuilding going on. We're getting some nicer houses. Awesome. City needs more workers. We're working on it. I got musicians out there, don't worry. I've 
kind of neglected my musicians long enough. All right, we hit a thousand people. All right. Thankfully, we didn't lose any of our goods. Forty-nine workers needed. We've got space for almost three hundred. We do need more hemp, though. Food. Made any progress on our monument? Nope. More workers are still coming in, which is good. Let's make. Uh, um, oh, we got angry ancestors. Let's fix that. Deal? How about gardens? Everybody likes gardens. Oh yeah, monuments need carpenters. Yep, no, I've, I've actually just kind of curtailed the monument industry for the time being. Still need 17 more workers. Yep, there we go. Might start getting hit pretty soon here. Once I get down into the... Uh, closing the gap here. We've got plenty of housing room. The city is prettier than the most beautiful concubine in China. You all know it's better to be especially to me. Now there's the tax man. Yeah. How are we doing on food? Yeah, doing okay. Now is where we run into the great hemp crash. I have no hemp. Thankfully, the harvest is in process. We got plenty of lumber, too, which is good. We can at least try to keep our ancestors not quite as pissed at us. <laughs> If you want your monuments to finish before your death, you should train more carpenters. That's alright, they can kind of soak up the extra employment as we need it. Ooh, doing very nice down here. Yeah, we're working on getting help. Oh, perfect. We are so close. There's a carpenter. All right, monument under construction. What else can we work on? We need the dwellings. Definitely need to work on that. I'm thinking this can be kind of my tiny little enclave of uh, fancy houses, because we need 40 people. Just trying to plan out how best to do this. do want the market square to kind of have overlap here. Be a multi-purpose. Oops, I didn't mean to do that.
I think it's highly desirable. And we're out of hemp. Alright. So this area is going to need some infrastructure, though. Hey, Nico, how are you doing? Oh, one lavish is fully ten citizens. Okay, so I really just need to get four. Oh, Happy New Year, yes. We are running the treasury down pretty far. People call me the greatest ruler in history. No, no Total War 2 tonight, Nico. Tonight is Emperor Rise of the Middle Kingdom. We've got uh, Emperor Tim, who's been commenting on here. He actually built this campaign that I'm working on here. I'm going to see how far we can get on it tonight. I'm going to see if I can not uh, be natural disaster to death. I don't have enough of anything yet. How are we doing on the monument? All right, we're getting there. Carpenters are working. And we have full employment. How are taxes doing? 99% visited by a tax official. Who's avoiding the tax man? Oh, it's the houses that haven't been really visited yet. We're out of hemp again? I do need is more kilns. Oh, we can actually get rid of this. How are we doing on food? Food's still pretty good. We've got plenty of game meat. We have leftover cabbage somewhere. You keep one ancestor here and neglected or higher, you can have two it angry and not get a disaster. Oh, that's good. I did not know that. There, neglected. <laughs> now we won't get uh, an additional natural disaster, aside from the three that we already get. Which, thankfully, we're in roosters, so I don't have to worry about it quite yet. Heal of the neighborhood. You guys like peach trees? I think you do. Oh, well, you know, if we deleted this rubble, that would probably be helpful. Hygiene is very good and improving. That's right, people who live in my city take baths. Basics there for their Grand Market Square. <laughs> Hygiene is good, but worsening. People aren't taking baths. keep our level of food up, we're going to probably need to build some more farmlands.
I want to leave some of this open because I want a path to get on this island eventually. I'm going to have to be a little cognizant of that here. A little half cabbage, half millet. There we go. And I can bring an irrigation ditch around that side. Perfect. Need some silk. Hmm. I could build a silkworm shed. I've got some green grass down here that I can do that with. Uh, I should probably start focusing on that the trade part of that mission, just to open things up a little bit. Keep my warehouses from getting overflowed. Alright. Let's take this around here. Alright, let's see how big is the silkworm shed. down there. Let's see. Ah, 500 cash gift is good for opening trade. Alright. Might not be a bad idea. Alright. Need 88 people. We have housing for 190. We've got plenty of hemp cloth. Let's make sure that everyone's buying. Perfect. All right, next stage of the monument, dirt. Let's turn this off. some of this stuff up down here. Although this is grass on it, so I don't want to necessarily build a laborer camp there. Kind of be a waste. What can we build over here? Ooh, there's a ramp. Let's do over here. Oh yeah, that's what I was thinking. There's, uh, there's a couple... Oh, that's true. I could knock down these walls. I need a labor camp. Put in a couple camps. Ah, I'll go back to my other view. There we go. I'm gonna encourage my inspector not to go wandering off in that direction. Check taxes again? Ah, taxes. Yeah, let's take a look. 99% of the population is visited by a tax official. Uncle Sam is definitely taking his cut. Let's do this. Just keep one open for right now. Happy New Year? Sure. My treasury's looking a little sad, though. Ooh, here we go. Ornate department. Taoist or Buddhist building? That would be good. Buddhist pagoda would let me make homage to the Buddhist deity, so let's do this. Since this is the fancy part of town anyway, put in the pagoda. We've got plenty of room. How would you like to live next to this guy in the hut, <laughs> if you've got the ornate department? That's true. It doesn't require it, but the way I'm playing this right now, I don't have a lot of space to build houses because this is all just dirt up here. So I'm trying to get as much population density as I can. There's a risk-reward to that. The risk is if I run out of hemp, all of this devolves and I lose all my population, my industry falls apart, and I'm in trouble. 
The good news is, if I can build them upright and get them to evolve quickly, I build up lots of housing space and I don't have to expand as much. Uh, nope. Can't build any uh, military units there, Nico. No... No military, so we have to play nicely for the time being. Let's keep our ancestors happy. Alright, so how are we doing here on the silk? Which I don't want to waste that square there. Man, that one, one clay, clay pit is fueling two of these kilns plus some extra. It's awesome. We should do a little more irrigation. <laughs> you get into. I like that patience, young Jedi. Yeah, I don't want to get into war. I don't. I don't have any walls. I have no military. I don't want to go pick in a fight with anybody right now. I'm kind of a sitting duck. You know, funny story, when I first started playing this game and I didn't quite understand how the military mechanics worked, uh, I used to stack um, watchtowers next to the city walls, and I just used roadblocks so the guards would walk back and forth and fight the enemy soldiers as they broke in. <laughs> All right, there we go. We're getting a little happier. All right, we need some appeal. Who doesn't like a Tai Chi park? I mean, come on. They're great. We need some ancestral shrines to hit out there. We've got some laborers. 41 more loads of dirt. Uh, it's alright, Nico. You gotta get your internet fixed, though. <laughs> I know you had that the last time it happened to you. How are we doing on budget? Eh, not bad. Losing a little bit of money. How did I miss this? Fix that road. We've got a little bit of unemployment, which is good. We'll tap into the labor force. Alright, weavers are weaving silk. We've got more hemp cloth coming in. We can modulate unemployment with the monuments. Uh oh. I was getting worried about that. build that there in case we need it. Never quite know. Alright. Unemployment. We've got more unemployment. Still need 80 laborers, though. Uh, I hate to cut down those trees. But you guys chop them down and then I'll remove them and we might put some more labor camps in there. Actually, can I take these out? More labor. Now, one of the things that I've done here is when I go to industry, I've set the uh, workforce allocation for monuments low. So that means whenever there is a shortage of workers, it comes out of my monuments, not out of my other critical industries. Since we're going to be working on this thing for a while, if the labor camps are short a man or two, I'm not quite as worried. I am much more worried if we have... Uh, no inspector towers. 
Oh, and I've got a shortage of warehouse space. Alright. That'll open up some room. Let's get another warehouse. That way we can start stockpiling goods. And that way we can have something to trade. Alright, let's try these guys. Would you like cash? Send them a gift and then uh, we'll send them a trade request. See if they like it. Oh, spacious dwelling. Oh, you know what? <laughs> that usually means we need inspectors. <laughs> workers are needed, which is okay. Whoa, what? It, the vulture just killed that guy. That wasn't very nice. Do we have unrest? Or are those just wild animals? Someone's killing my people. That was the vulture at first. Alright, Nico. We'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by. Alright, food is good. We've got some silk built up. Plenty of hemp. 99% of the population is visited by good old Uncle Sam. The vulture's a predator. He strikes sometimes. Oh, okay. I just have to watch out for that vulture. Ah, we need silk. That way we can start evolving our fancy houses. Oh, they like the cash. Well, that's good. Well, I've got six. I've got five houses. Oh, we're out of houses. Whoa, boy. What's going on here? Bland food. Did we run out of markets, or we've got food. Buyer must. Buyer's returning, maybe. That's why we're losing people. And this is what I was worried about. Yeah, I need to keep it at probably appetizing food or better. Alright, let's check that city that we just reached out to. They don't need weapons, salt, millet, or silk, and they produce rice, which could be helpful. Let's see if we can get them to trade with us. Yeah. Elite housing definitely needs appetizing, which I'm... Right now, we've got appetizing, so... Pretty okay with that for right now. These guys are needing silk, so silk buyer is coming back. Trees back in there. I'll spruce some things up a bit. Oh. No. Let's do this. Turn these off. And we'll prioritize the carpenter when we get more workers back. Alright. We're getting better. 190 people left. 
Now we'll get more. Are we buying food? Yep, we're buying food. Now let's see. How's our hunting going? There's no more antelope. I'll have to wait for more to come back. Whereas up here, I think we have plenty of antelope. The problem is it's just so far away. Well, if we can open up trade and buy rice, and we can trade some of the goods that we produce... They don't need salt, millet, or silk. We can produce salt. Might be time to... Step up our salt game a bit. I want a salt warehouse, actually. Normally I don't do this, but since we kind of have this gap between where I can get salt and where uh, it needs to go to get to the uh, the mill, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to create a warehouse that's only going to accept salt. Now here's what happens. The salt miners go out and they bring their carts and they push it to the warehouse. The warehouse then, I'll let it fill up. We can use it to help trade. Oh, perfect. They trade. We can use it for trade or we can send it... Um, well, I can empty this, and it'll go back to this warehouse, or rather the mill, which will store it up there. And yeah, disconnect the road, then. Yeah. So here's what we're going to do. We want that trading station opened up. Let's see, I'm trying to find where is a good spot for this. I could put another warehouse in there, so I could put it right here. Alright. We'll definitely sell salt, and we'll sell all the silk we can. In exchange, we'll buy a small amount of rice. That means we're going to need more bolts of silk. Clear out that stuff. Three. Uh, excuse me, would you mind using a road? <laughs> I guess not. Time to bump up the wages? Well, we're at 60, well, 50 workers needed. Really, what that's being taken out of is most of my monument work, so... Eh, not yet. I still am running a pretty big deficit, financially. I'm a financial analyst by day, so... <laughs> Finance is, like, top of mind for me. Use another paper maker, though. do this. I want to empty that out. I just want to keep this one, this for all of my stuff. So I want to get hemp. Let's keep that at 16. I don't want any of this. Don't want that. Don't want that. Get that. 12 of that. Get silk. I only want to keep maybe 5 bolts. We definitely want lacquerware. That's another luxury. Let's 
same thing with T. We'll keep that at 10. There we go. That way we keep this warehouse that's a little bit closer. That'll be specifically for our marketplaces. And that way we just put all our other junk in the, uh, the other warehouse. Sixteen workers needed, which is pretty good. Carpenter's coming out. And we've got plenty of housing left. Perfectly in balance right now. Do you plan to win the mission before the Year of the Ox? <laughs> I know, I'm trying. I play slow. Alright, we got the 40 people, which is good. An elegant dwelling or better. We need to work on that one for sure. 612 qualify. We definitely need to work on that. Peel of the neighborhood. Sorry. We've got to finish this mission. I'm not used to playing the uh, <laughs> the challenges. I like building the cities, and I try to make them like functional. Let's see if we can get them a little bit higher, though. Try to pick up the pace. You don't like the natural parks. You guys like Tai Chi parks? Jeez. Place is picky over here. I don't even like dogs. Alright, we can do this then. That should boost that up a little bit. Alright. Alright, now we've got unemployment. Now we can start accelerating our... We've got Oh, we've got a carpenter out there already. Perfect. That's true. I do only need 5k, but I haven't turned a profit ever. <laughs> Slowly dwindling that treasury down, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Let's start re reaching out to some of our other friends here. Just open up with cash. Send out some emissaries and get this going. We are chuck full of food. Can we sell some millets? Sell a small amount. Salt mines are working. Add to those. Carpenters. We've got one more row to do, and then we've got more laborers on the way. Try to take that all the way. Hmm. That's true. They'll go all the long way around. It's okay for now, but hey, you're right. Got to try to fix that eventually. Yeah, I see that. They take the long. I mean. The problem is the salt is way up here, mill is way down here. It's kind of a long way to go. 
But I do want it to go to the mill first. Oh, good. Everyone likes cash. Actually, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to limit salt to just three. And that way... Oh, I did that a little too late. <laughs> They're already on their way. Derp. There we go. Oh, I can just stockpile salt. But we need more weavers. Yep, that's true. But I, I want it to be set to get here first, because I want to prioritize filling the mill, because I want to get the salt first, and then it can stockpile. Ooh, 151 workers needed. What's going on here? We run out of hemp somewhere? Oh. We're buying food. We need to make these a little bit better. Appeal. Need an herbalist. Uh-oh. Fire. That's not good. There we go. All right, what can we do to make these folks happier? How about that? Oh yeah, the herbalist. Put one right over there. Too many salt mines? Yeah, probably. 161. Cut down on the salt. Maybe what I can do is modulate my uh, workforce by turning on and off the salt mines. Leave one going. Because right now, my 100 workers needed is coming out of the labor camp, so... Let's do this turn these guys off so it at least kind of pushes everyone into one camp so we get one with five. <laughs> Alright, we're getting the population back up. Problem is, I am close to running my treasury down to nothing. Let's go reach out to some of these other places, see what they need. Uh, produces wheat paper, okay. Ah, carved jade. Open trade. Open trade. And open trade. Let's get those emissaries out. <clears throat> we can at least unlock the, uh, the trading part. Oh yeah, that's true. Giving paper to ancestors is a, uh, a good way to go. Selling it, too. Who buys paper? Chang... Uh, no, Chang Ang sells... Ah, here we go. They buy paper. Perfect. We can sell paper. You sell paper to make paper. We're doing perfect on food right now. Uh, not, not yet. Just gotta wait for one of those to go through to sell. I can also sell off some of this cabbage, too. What are we doing? Eight workers needed, so... get that carpenter going. We need to finish this last little corner here. Once we get that, then we can turn on the monument workers, and we'll get that going. Uh, I'm below $5,000, or 5,000 strings of cash there. Gotta get these trading stations opened up so that I can start recovering some money. All right, there we go. We've got 50 who qualify. 
They want lacquerware, which we don't necessarily need to build for them. Once we get those trading stations put up... Oh, rejected. Uh-oh. Hmm. Looks like we need to loosen them up a bit first. Uh, let's see. You don't need paper, so we'll give you eight reams. Let's see if they will uh, warm up to me a bit. Clear out the cabbage there. How close are we are on our other goals? It's unobtainable. Okay. We need to work on the elegant dwellings. We need like almost double what we've got. Dog sculpture. Everyone likes dogs. There we go. Not a fan of dragons, but how about dogs? Here we go. We got the elegant dwellings. Just made a bunch more of those. We're getting close. Take the smallest house. Dog sculpture. There we go. Dealing with some fancy trees. We're getting close. All right, grateful for paper. Awesome. give them rice because I import that. Let's see how we're doing on labor. Unemployment! We need more laborers. Strike up the band! Get more loads of dirt going. Oh, that's true. Year of the Ox. Which means we are going to have gloom and doom if we don't hazards. Where do we need more inspectors? Actually, housing isn't that bad. Pretty good there. Should we have pretty good inspector coverage? Feeling pretty confident about that. I just want to try to finish this before we go through the cycle again. Like, I've, I've hit all three plagues. Uh... It's still going to hurt, though, even at normal difficulty. Now, uh, let's see. Actually, you know what? New Watt. You would be really good to get, especially for Earthquake time. All right. Starting to sell some silk. We're starting to turn our treasury around. Let's start making some gifts. Try to get people a little more happy with us. Cash is the easiest thing to send right now. No, nope, not ceramics. Cash. Try to make some friends here quickly. Now that I feel a little bit better about our economy. Can I make another gift? 
Joyful, perfect. Nuwa also counts as a, a building inspector, so she'll be good to have when the earthquake comes. Aha! Oh, I can't... Oh, I don't have a... Uh... Actually, we're just going to have you patrol. Actually, you know what we don't want to have drop is all of our, our goods. So we're going to put you over here by our warehouses. That way we don't lose all of our stuff. Monuments coming along nicely. Get more laborers to start building it up. Up oh, here's the earthquake. Uh, shoot. All right, how much did we lose? Not a lot. Not, yeah, not too bad. Not terrible. Didn't lose my warehouses. That was the important part. Alright, cash came through nicely. Just gotta fix my... housing, because now I've got all this rubble everywhere. These are all homes. Not too bad. Yeah, but I definitely don't want to go through that that cycle. I, I'm starting to get at it now. You get that cycle of disasters. I don't want to hit that a second time. Let's see if we can get everything finished up. Oh yeah, I see that. Shoot. Gotta watch my credit. You are not as popular as you were. Yeah. I've got a lot better faith, though, in my economy. And I didn't lose a lot of my industry, which is good. I just lost all my housing. So I should be able to bounce back out of that pretty quick. Problem is... I am way in the red in terms of employees and workforce. All right, ultimate gamble. We're gonna increase wages, hopefully try to attract people back. Get our population up. Didn't lose any of my attractive housing though. Kept that. What did I lose over here? this year. I'm kind of strapped for cash. Right, let's see. Agreeable. We need trade. Respectful. Trade. Trade. Alright, let's see if we can get some trade agreements going. All we need is that trader to come back here, and uh, we should be back in the black. Alright, we're getting our industry back up. Ah, that's a good point. Yeah, if we get an ally and we do have a cash problem, they do send money. I'm not too worried quite yet. One of the things I do want to do is stop buying rice. There we go. We're just above even. Slightly. There we go. Squarely in the black. True, they won't accept my request for an alliance, but they could open trade, I think. You're, you're, you're the expert here, Tim. <laughs> How 
are we doing down here? Let's try to consolidate some of this. At least I get one labor camp rolling. Alright. Money's back up, which is good. How are we doing population-wise? Alright, 852. We lost some. Alright, trade, trade, and trade. Perfect. Let's kind of create like a trading partner row down here. So what can we sell? How about... We'll sell paper. We'll sell ceramics. We'll sell wood. That'll get our treasury going. Yep, I sent them the max gifts of cash that I could. Well, we do probably need another paper maker. That way we... Got some unemployment. Let's throw it at monuments. Getting close. Each tier is less and less workers required. 28 carpenters. Let's turn this off. Turn that off. Get another carpenter going. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, because now you got to start putting all the wood together. Alright. We have... Oh yeah, look at all that paper. We're going to get our money back real quick. Sure, we've got everyone happy. There we go. Eighteen carpenters. So we'll just get the two carpenters rolling here. We'll get those guys up and running. How is our housing coming along? 752 qualify. Let's try to get this beautified a little bit. Oh, that's true. We're going to need some more wood for the monument. I'll throw in another logging ship nearby, too. How much wood am I selling? A little bit. This is actually really efficient construction. I mean, reusing that timber to build the staircases? Alright, let's see what do we need. One carpenter. Reopen the salt mine so we don't run into too much unemployment. Another weaver going. One stack of wood and a carpenter. Let's do this. 
and now we'll stop selling wood. It should mean the next bit of timber should go toward the monument. Or you could go to the warehouse, that's fine. Alright, treasury's recovering. Another 1500. Sorry, we're gonna evict you and replace that with a pavilion. There's plenty of food. More food's on the way. Alright, we've got our wood. We can sell more wood now. Carpenter's finishing up there. Alright. Almost back to 5,000. Happy New Year? Yes, we can do that. Alright, rabbits. We're not in trouble yet. The drought is the one that came first with the snake, so I'm not as worried about the drought. Hurry up, Carpenter. More wood and more Carpenters. Regulate that. Ah, I like that. Yeah, I was gonna say the 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 drought wasn't that bad. The flood definitely was a problem, and the earthquake was the biggest problem out of all of them. I like that. You kind of get the staggered effect. So I can survive a drought. The flood is gonna be a pain in the butt. Gonna turn this off again. Close are we here? Oh, running out of food again. Well, maybe. I've got an idea. Might see where I'm going with this. Ah, okay, so it only goes through twice. Interesting. Okay. Well, I'm hoping to not go through them a second time. That is my genuine hope. Ah, oh, food is too distant. Shoot. Well. There's a way we can fix that. build a secondary mill over there. Set this one to empty everything. That way we fill that one up and hopefully the food is closer. With two market squares, that'll hopefully distribute the food a little bit better. Food 
food arriving. Problem is we're going through a drought of food, so... Selling the wood so that we can transfer that over to the monument. There we go. Yep, we had a little housing devolved, but I've got that fixed. Put in another market square up here. I think that'll really help. That way we've got two coverages for food going on. We're just shifting all the food up here right now. Let's get rid of some of that rice. Let that drain out over time. Waiting for the harvest to move over that direction. This needs to be ap appetizing food. Empty that mill out. That's true. I could start to import a couple bits of food. We got wheat. I'm gonna go hog wild, but. At least try to keep these mills full. I think I've got rice too that I can buy more of. All right. Once we get our workforce back up, housing for 1,100 people. There we go. Look at all these nice houses. Just need to get to that spot. Once we get some more workers, we'll get the carpenters back. Make sure our ancestors aren't too angry. We're getting there. Actually, what we're going to do here is set this to only accept. Put everything else in this one, our primary mill. If 
57 workers, perfect. About ready for this guy to come online here pretty quick. Ah, clay. Good hint. Right now I just have one clay pit, so I can build another one. And I've just kind of been building as much clay as I need to keep the kilns running. I don't think any of these are working. Hopefully not. There we go. The monuments are active. Hopefully my food strategy works. Try to make things a little bit prettier. But you know what? Maybe I can just like seal off this eyesore over here. There we go. Getting close. We just need that monument to get built. Perfect. Send in the other carpenter. We need more wood. should be dispatched pretty soon. 10% unemployment. We gotta watch out for that. We're gonna start getting angry customers. We don't want our people to get angry. Carpenter's on his way. All right, what else do we need to work on? All right, all we need to do is finish that temple. good. go. Everything is required. Everything we need. We need more wood and more carpenters. Yep, 
More wood is on the way. I think I see it right there. Wood incoming. And carpenters on the way. Perfect. got clay in the warehouse. We just need to free up some space. We sell some of that wood to get rid of it. Uh, that's true. I do have clay in my warehouse, though. I just need to free up some warehouse space so that the workers can take it out there. Actually, this guy's on his way right now. Perfect. It's going to take him a little bit to walk down there. Turn these guys off. Mill looks pretty good. Got bean curd inbound. Perfect. Housing looking good. We need here more appeal. Right, you guys asked for it. Get more gardens. Tiles. It's looking pretty nice. <coughs> All right. Just need to make sure my housing stays above that 1500. We're kind of flirting with it right now. to evolve. Gotta keep an eye on that unemployment. Let it spike too high. Alright, what else do we need? Wood and carpenters. Turn off selling wood. Get a warehouse worker, we can deliver some of that wood. Now there's some wood coming in right now.
Splendid Temple complete. All right. I think we've met our victory conditions. We just gotta hold it. <laughs> I know, it's just the drought is coming back. It's the year of the snake. Before we start the cycle again. I think I gotta probably hold it for a month then. Oh no, 1500 qualify. Uh oh. There we go. Alright, here we go. The years have passed, and through your skill, civilization has again taken root at Yin. Your success has given the Tang a new foothold in the region. The Emperor is pleased, and ordered you to remain at Yin as its permanent city leader. Hey, I didn't do that bad a job, huh? His orders are to continue the city, and to abide by the agreement with uh, Yin Jin. Alright, so, his vulture has dropped another message to you. It reads, I am pleased with the splendid temple. You have taken the first steps in re restoring Yin to a pathway to the great Buddha's enlightenment. Yet much work remains for you. Know that you must continue in your labors. You need not fear any further curses of my origination. I have removed my curses from this land. Ah, oh, perfect. All right. Bridges of Trust. 2,000 people in an ornate apartment or better. 80 people in a humble compound or better. Treasury of 40,000, Splendid Temple must be built, Grand Pagoda must be built, Nine Menagerie Animal Types required. Alright, this one's a little bit more difficult. Alright, 860. He sent a new message. I welcome the bridges of trust that we have built between us. Great Buddha smiles. In the spirit, I will open more of the oasis to you. You may now fish and build bridges, mine the stone quarry, and use the stone to rebuild the Grand Pagoda of Yin. To aid our communication, I will send you a tame vulture that is trained to carry messages. This will help you begin the task of restocking the great animal menagerie of Yin. Oh, cool, so we get the uh, vulture. You greatly appreciate your, these words of friendship from the powerful shaman. Fish from the waters of the oasis will be a welcome addition to the diet of your citizens. Sending miners to the stone quarry will uh, provide employment for the growing population and boost the economy, since the extra stone may be exported. You may you must provide your pal prepare a palace to receive the animals and oh and receive the gift of the tame vulture. After it arrives, you may begin trading animals with other cities to complete the menagerie. Okay. Alright. Actually before I do anything, we should probably save. Perfect. Alright. So step one. Build a palace. We don't have one yet. Oh, and the palace has to be built on at least one tile because it's assumed to have a well. Uh, clear this stuff out here. palace back that way. One inspector tower nearby. Alright, we can turn this stuff off. Alright. Alright, Splendid Temple is built. We need to build the Grand Pagoda. We need nine menagerie animals. 2,000 people in an ornate department or better. We're almost halfway there. And 80 people in a humble compound or better. Find a spot for this thing first. Foreign emissary arrives. Okay, permit. Oh, a gift! There we go. Please accept it. Yeah, I'll take the vulture, of course. Alright. Looks like we can build this right over here. Of 
requires a stonemason. Clean up the... Who sells more lacquerware? Perfect. We are going to need lacquerware in order to evolve our fancy housing. There's a footprint for the pagoda. Yep, I found it. I think I may have also accidentally deleted some of the other footprints. <laughs> oh, well. I'll come back to it. Right, but we need a mason. Kind of delete some of this rubble here. Sells more lacquer. All right. And we need stone. And we can also build bridges. This is going to be actually quite helpful. stuff here. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it's walled off. Aha. Let's do this. Yep. Definitely not there. That's not going to work. I'm thinking what we can do go here. Put my inspector tower in there. Yeah, I, I like that trick. <laughs> I can say, I was like, oh, I can just build up. Oh, no, you can't. It doesn't go up that way. Alright, but what we want to do is stoneworks. Also put in some fishing quays here. Oh, Shenong, uh, you can go home. I'm not looking for you right now at this point. All right, they'll get the stone blocks going. Not worried about the dollar part of it. We should be able to hit forty thousand after some time. We do need that ornate department achievement part. We're gonna have to work on that. Oh, that's true. I could do that. That way, it kind of connects back to my. Uh... Might actually be helpful. Oh, it's... Now, let's see, is it going to be... Just long enough that I can build a bridge. That's true. Good point. Yeah, because then the stone can get go right back up through my road system back to the, uh, the monument. Instead of having to take this path all the way around. Good call. Probably load it up there so we can start accepting some food. I no, can't place bridges on the iron ore. Good point. Turn these off. are no longer needed. Appreciate the enthusiasm. Let's see where our... Oops, where did I put those stonemasons? Oh, I have such a great 
<laughs> Looks like the animals are taking the bridge, too. Now, who I do want to get in this is Nuwa, because she can capture animals on our behalf. Should be helpful. We can get Nuwa going. Working on the stone. A couple more stone masons go, and we can export the stone that we don't need. selling some of this wood, too, and clearing that out. Hey, no problem, Tim. Good to see you. I'll keep uh, playing and uh, definitely do another one of these. This will be fun. we got to have the continuation. Got to finish out the story, you know? Have a good night. We'll keep going for a couple more minutes here and see how far we can get. I can't believe I got caught again. That's awesome. Did she say anything else? <laughs> okay, apparently we need to be careful about that sage antelope because uh, it's going to spring for it. Some of that salt to the trade. Buys more stone. Alright. We'll sell stone as soon as we get some of it. Boy, I'm seeing a big block of stone somewhere going. So we got the antelope. We already have a vulture. I think there's any other animals. Uh, thank you. Hopefully the stone just didn't get... Oh, it sat in the warehouse. Oh, nope. We got one delivered.
Hmm, too distant. Changes to get. We just curtail the uh, paper making a bit. <coughs> Slight hit to the treasury, but uh, that should be too bad. More hemp cloth. Need carpenters. Hopefully, there's some wood on the way. Good industry going. Lots of food. Ornate apartment, though, is going to be challenging. Start to perhaps expand over on this side. What happened? Uh-oh, we have a hemp shortage. That could be the problem. <laughs> Looks like we've tapped out all the hemp we can build. Sure, how about special gifts? All right, we got a salamander in the menagerie.
Alright, we're recovering. Space for a lot more people. Buys more salt? Perfect. We will sell more salt. We have a lot of stone that we can sell. Get rid of it. Clogging up my warehouse space. Finishing up. farm should help us. Iron ore up there. We just can't build a smelter yet. Down to 200 workers needed. Making progress. Uh oh. A little bit of disease going on. That's not good. Energy flow along the city's meridians is exquisite. Lacquerware. We're definitely not buying 60 lacquerware. We got a 
feeling we're in for a hemp shortage. Thankfully, we've got hemp coming in. Look at all that stone. I sell it all. Get rid of it. Treasury is going to get a nice bump from that. And it seems everyone seems to be okay with me so far. No one's really angry yet. Since I've got extra cash, I might as well might be worth it just to keep them happy. Send them a gift. Getting to the point where we need tea. Anyone sell tea? <clears throat> Not yet. Maybe we can make some? Nope. Find a way. <clears throat> Guess we won't be getting all the way up to the highest level of homes, but. That's okay. workers needed we have 839 demand stone oh okay well I'll send you the stone lacquerware is expensive got plenty of lacquerware. Definitely don't need more. But if you want to buy cabbage, <laughs> we'll sell you cabbage. Here comes the inflow of cabbage. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. Agreeable. path here. Getting close to that ornate apartment. Gonna take a little bit of work. not sell paper. That way we can kind of preserve our hemp. Unemployment going. All right. Kind of recovered. Over a thousand. We're halfway there. Stone on the way, maybe. Ooh, here we go. Starting to get some humble compounds. Need hemp. Word of the day is hemp.
go. So the field's at least somewhat irrigated. Need a mason. Salt mines running. Yep. Well, there's the vulture. Send everyone an animal, and hopefully we get one back. More humble compounds. Ah, Confucian Academy. No, we're not going to be able to do that. We can't get Confucianism. So we need 80 people. And that means 15, 30, 45. 60, 75, I can get it, but I need all of them to hit. Salt? Alright. Oops, nope, didn't want to do that. Three thousand people. Alright, we've got fifty people, we just need more to move in. And we'll set on that part of the quest. Treasury of 40,000. We're working our way up that way. Respectful, respectful, everyone's respectful. Ooh, lots of unemployment, though. Kind of modulate that a little bit here. So we don't get unrest showing up.
Ooh, wild pig. Awesome. I like a wild pig. That should make four. Almost halfway there. Pheasant. All right. Now we're more than halfway. on the unemployment there. We're getting close to that 2,000. We've got 80 people in the humble compound working on the treasury. The Grand Pagoda's on its way. We're in a pretty good spot for tonight. I'm going to go ahead and save our game. And then that's going to do it for me here for tonight. So thank you for watching the first part of our Shaman of the Oasis piece here. I'm sure we'll continue the story and can uh, see if we can make it all the way through on the path to enlightenment. So that'll do it for me for tonight. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you next stream, and have a good night.